Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey for Digital DJ Tips. And right now, I have for review the new Mark HF350 headphones. Now, these are part of the brand new HF line that was introduced by New Mark last year, 2014. And that comes in three different models. The HF150, which is a collapsible type. HF325, which is an over-the-ear model. And of course, these, the 350, which are around the ear. Being around the ear, they offer more isolation than the previous two models that I just described. Coming in at just under $100, these are cheaper than the Electrowave headphones, which are Newmark's premium line of headphones. And also, it's a little bit more expensive than the HF125, which is Newmark's entry-level model. Alright, so let's take a look at what comes with the headphones inside the box. You've got your cable here. It's an 8th inch to an 8th inch plug. It's a straight cable too. It's not that long, but I guess it's enough for you to plug your headphones onto your mixer and you know have a little bit of movement going on. And aside from that, you also got your quarter inch adapter for plugging these headphones into your DJ mixer or controller. So now all that's left to do is to plug the other end to the HF 350s like so, and you're good to go. Got them right here. Now what I really like about the 350s is that it's got swivel ear cups. It swivels 90 degrees away from you and 45 degrees towards you. So it doesn't matter what type of monitoring you'd want to do. If you want to use your shoulder while DJing or if you want to use one hand and put one cup to your ear, you can certainly do that with these. And I think that's pretty cool because not a lot of headphones in this price range have swivel ear cups. Aside from that, the ear pads are made of a nice leatherette material. They're also super soft. So when you have them on your ears, they're really comfortable. They go all the way around and they offer a nice amount of isolation. I can hear myself talking, but I can't hear too much of what's happening around me, which I guess is a good thing. Because like if you're doing this in a noisy DJ booth and you want to concentrate on what's coming out of your headphones, well, these do the trick. Aside from that, it's got this foam headband over here at the top. So when you have it on your head, yeah, it doesn't hurt the top of your head. When you have it on your neck, it doesn't hurt as well. The headphone itself is made of a matte sort of rubber finish, which really gives it a nice sort of classy feel. Makes it look and feel a little bit more expensive than it really is. So nice job, Newmark. Okay, lastly, how do these sound? Well, I compare these alongside all the headphones that I have here in the lab right now. I'm gonna pick them out one by one just to show you. Pioneer C70 headphones, we reviewed these in an earlier video. TMA 1X from Spotify, it's a Spotify edition. Thanks again, Spotify. Got Pioneer HDJ 1000s. And lastly, I've got a pair of Shure SRH 440s. I use these whenever I produce, when I'm in my bedroom, in my project studio, or I want an alternate monitoring source. These are pretty good. All right, so how does this sound compared to all of these? Well, I think the 350s have a nice low end. They're not as full as the HDJ 1000s, but you can really hear that it's there. There's certainly a lot more bass than the TMA 1X or the SRH 440s, which, which are a little bit flat. And also, I like the high-end response of the 350s. They have that nice presence that the others just don't have. If you mix a lot of dance and bass-heavy music, you'll love using the HF 350s. If not as your main pair of headphones, then as an optional or alternate set of cans. Because at this price range, at just under $100, I don't think you'd mind having another pair of headphones in your DJ bag in case something goes wrong. So that's it for a talk-through video of the new Mark HF 350s. If you want a more in-depth review, head on over to the site, digitaldjtips.com, and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you like this video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching.